video we are going to discuss about an important aspect in microbiology which is colony morphology identification so we grow bacteria in a petri plate but to identify what type of bacteria it is we have to identify its colony morphology so that is the first step to identify a bacteria so what is this colony morphology it is a visual culture characteristics of a bacteria colony on agar plate originating from a single mother cell or bacterium so from a single mother cell or a single bacteria will um, form a colony and this colony will have different morphology for different bacteria and we can identify this colony morphology only in a agar plate in a solid uh, medium we can't be uh, identifying a, a colony morphology in a broth or any other liquid medium because in that it will be suspended and form so there will be millions of bacteria in a single colony approximately if you pick a colony all the bacteria in that colony will be having the same characteristics so now let's check out what are the important characteristics or parameters we use to describe our bacterial colony morphology Actually, there are a lot of colony morphology parameters are there, but here I have listed the most important nine parameters. So those are size, shape, or we can call it as form, color, margin, surface, texture, elevation, opacity, and hemolysis. So these are the important parameters which has to be like if we observe and write down a colony morphology means these are the things which we have to include. Every colony should have these nine important parameters. Now let's check out in detail what are these nine parameters are. First parameter is size. To measure the size of a colony, we have to select an isolated colony. It should not be merged with other colonies. So we have to select an isolated colony and measure the diameter of the uh, colony. So it should be measured in mm, so millimeter. If the diameter is less than 0.5 mm means it is called as pinpoint colony or punchy form. It should be very little, it will be very little. In the picture you can see it's like a dot. And uh, second is uh, small colonies, which is less than one millimeter. And there are medium colonies, which is equal to one millimeter. And there are uh, large colonies, which are greater than one millimeter. If colonies are larger than five millimeter means there is a probability like it might be motel. So, so this is how we measure the size of the colonies. Coming to the shape or form of the colonies, there are different shapes and forms are there, but mostly we will uh, consolidate into this uh, main uh, five to six categories. So we in this also we select isolated colonies. It should not, it should not be merged with other colonies. So if uh, just think if there is a colony which is round, if it is merged to other colony means it look like a oval shape. So we should not select those kind of colonies. We should select isolated colonies which will be in definite shape. So avoid merged colonies. First is circular. So in this picture you can see a clear round. So it's a circular shape we can discuss and irregular which might be like in different forms. Third is filament. So it's like spread like a, a thread for this rhizoid. So it is also uh, like more like filamentous, but it will be like roots of a plants. Fifth is spindle and sixth is concentric. So these are the shape or form of a bacterial colonies to the margin of the colony morphology we have to focus on the edge of the colonies so by studying the edge of the colonies we can note down their margin so there are six types of margin first is entire which we will be smooth so soft and smooth in this picture you can see the first one is entire second is undulated so it will be wavy so it won't be smooth it will be wavy third is filamentous so it will the edges will be like a thread like uh, expansion and the fourth is uh, curled so the edges will be curled so we call it as curled and uh, fifth is lobate so it will be like lobes different lobes will be there and last sixth is eros so it will be like uh, some spikes are uh, uh, coming out in the edges will be like spikes so we call it as eros so these are the margin morphologies Next is elevation. So we have to study that its elevation also. To study its elevation, we have to focus on the side view. So if a petri plate is there, we should not be like looking just like this. We have to look like in the side view. So in the side view, we can see its colony's elevation. So what are the types of elevations are? First is flat. So it will be flat on the surface of the agar. Second is raised. So it will be little rise in the colony morphology. Third is umbanate. So having a knob-like structure in the center, we call it as umbanate. So in the picture, you can see fourth uh, in uh, fourth elevation is umbanate. Fifth is cratiform. So cratiform is just the opposite of umbanate. So there will be a pit in the middle. And uh, then con convex. So the center will be so elevated. So we call it as convex. And last is pulvinate. So pulvinate is like, like a more like a siren kind of uh, uh, shape. So these are the different type of elevations. Next one is surface. To observe the surface of a colony, we have to focus from the top view and the environment should be well lit. So, far, so that only from the light, when the light is falling on the colonies, we can observe their surface clearly. So what are the different types of surface are? First is smooth. Second is rough. So it will be like, it, it won't be any reflecting the light. It will be very rough. Third is glistening. So it will be shining a little. Fourth is dull. So it, uh, some colonies will be so dull and it, it, it will be like in dark color or something. And uh, fifth is wrinkled. Some will be wrinkled. And last is mucoid. So it will be like a mucus uh, layer. So these are the surface of the colonies. 
Next is texture. So we have to study the texture of the colonies also. To study the texture of the colonies, we can use an inoculation loop, a sterile inoculation loop. So what are the types? It will be first is dry. So it will be powdery and it won't be sticking to our inoculation loop. Second is moist. So some will be so moist and watery. So if we touch on inoculation loop, it will be looking like a water. And third is viscid. So it will be very sticky to the inoculation loop. If we keep and take our inoculation loop, it will be coming like a bubble gum. And for, for this mucoid, so some will be mucus like that. So these are the texture of the colonies. Next is color. So there are some bacteria which will produce different kind of pigments when we grow in a different mediums. So there are various colors. In commonly mentioned colors are white. In white itself there are different uh, uh, gradients are there like pale white, creamy white, shiny white, dull white. These kind of different uh, uh, layers are there. Next is green, red, orange and different yellow. Like uh, there are many bacteria which will produce colorful, very different different colors. Observing a color is also important morphology identification. Next is opacity. So how much it transfers or allow the light to pass is we call this opacity. So we have to check in a well lit environment. So what are the types of opacity are? First is transparent. So uh, if we check in a petri plate, the colonies will be transferring all the light uh, uh, like without any block. So we can call it as, as colorless also. So it will be very clear. Second is translucent. So it will be little blurry, but it will, will, trans will allow light to pass. And third is opaque. So we know opaque means it will be completely blocking the light. And last is iridescent, which will change color. So so it will be radiating different color when we give different light exposure. So, th so these are the different type of opacity in colony morphology. So last parameter is hemolysis. For this, we have to inoculate the bacteria in blood agar. So in blood agar, the bacteria will digest the RBC and it will form some patterns. So what are the patterns are alpha, beta and gamma. So in alpha means it will partially digest the RBCs and it will produce greenish color. Beta means there will be complete digestion of RBC and it will be making a clear yellow color. So in the picture, you can see a beta which is written, it is in yellow color. And gamma means there is no hemolysis and it will look in red color. So this is the hemolysis pattern. Apart from this nine parameters, there are various different types of colony morphologies are there. In that one type is Trotsman colonies. It is very specific to Streptococcus pneumoniae or pneumococci. So when the young colonies, it will be, or the centers will be raised. But as uh, the culture ages, these colonies will become flattened and uh, there will be a depressed central part and a raised edges. So giving them like a ring-like uh, appearance. So we call it as Trotsman colonies. So this is one extra added colony morphology. So at last in this we learned the identification for different bacterial colony morphologies like size, shape, perform, texture, color, uh, elevation, opacity, margin and uh, uh, hemolysis pattern. So I uh, hope we covered important aspects and uh, it was useful. So that's all.